Hello everyone, this is Evelyn as E Stampin' Lee. Today I'm going to show you the projects that I was working on. Um, well, not working on, I, comp I accomplished. It's on my blog. If anyone has visited my blog, you'll see it there. But I wanted to show you in black and white uh, what this looked like. I made this uh, for my, um, my youngest granddaughter, Leilani. And um, I'm going to come close. I can soften the top how I made this. Well, it wasn't really so much to put on here. Um, flowers and some materials and that's all you need. And it just pops up so beautiful. And the pitch is the main focus. Um, this is a, one of those hangers that you get for... Um, but this is a baby side. That they usually have pretty clothes on the babies um, to hang out the baby's clothes. Comes with the cushions. Well, don't get rid of them. They are perfect for embellishment. Even if you don't do this type of technique, you can use it for other altar. And um, the flowers here, I made these two flowers, the both black flowers. I used the circle scallop and I crunch it up and I made this flower. I used the spray pearls inside so it can give it some texture. The flower in the middle, I got this from the dollar store. And the leaf that you see here, I bought that Supreme um, leaf. And then in the background, I don't know if you can see it, I added some, um, some two, uh, what is it called? For two, two? Tulips, I guess they call them. Um, I put that behind there. It looks really, really, really pretty. Then I came for the shoulder part right here that's holding the frame. Um, it was a plain black lace because I didn't have thick um, black lace, I mean black ribbons. So what I did was I took the satin one, I mean not satin, like the lace um, ribbon. Then I took a piece of, uh, I have a small trim of the Stampin' Up! black ribbons and I put that in the middle. So it can, you can actually see it more because with the, um, the, the lace you wasn't able to see it that well. So I just glued the middle piece into that, um, the fat piece. And I did the same thing here. Then I added more flowers in the end. That's a handmade one. This is the one I made. And the one in the middle is a doll, it's from the dollar store. It comes in a pack. And I got the white leaves at the dollar store. And that's a Prima. The butterfly is a Prima, I think. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is from the dollar store, too. You get like six in a pack. I'm telling you. you get, and they come in different sizes. Um, same thing over here. And then in the middle across, that's um, from Joanne. I bought some trims um, from there. And they were on sale. They were like 40 40%. They're pretty. They had like a pearls, like a beading pearl. Really, really pretty. So I only paid $3 for 10 yards. So, you know, I stacked up on them. I hope they, I wish they had it in black. I was looking for black. And of course, this is my darling, darling, darling granddaughter. And she's the attraction from all right here. That's my baby. And the black and white. And then in the bottom, let me go a little far off. That's when I made the tutu skirt and I wrapped that around the, the frame. I had to use some glue stick um, to actually hold the material because I kind of, when I wrapped it, before I started making the two, um, wrapping them around, um, I did took the size. You have to use elastic, um, even if you make the skirt for someone. Uh, that's the best material to use when you're working with this. But it, it was still loose, um, so what happened was I had to glue it into the frame, which it was bad. It gave, it gave it more extra support, so it was really fun making this. And I'll give you another close-up. I have so much, and I'll have to make two more, and that's why I'm down here. And back to my craft room so I can make one for my granddaughter. I think I'm going to probably do a different color or maybe another black and white. Okay, and I'm going to cover you up because I don't want you to get dizzy. And I'm, on, I'm going to show you the one that I'm working on for someone. Oops. Okay. Um, it's uh, my, my daughter's um, close friend at work. And she wanted one for June. Her daughter's going to be one years old. So she wanted me to make a tutu with these all these beautiful colors that you see here. I haven't finished it yet, as you can see. See, I have a lot to go, so I still have time to make it, so I'm working on that. Okay, and what I'm going to do with this one, because uh, she wanted something like in the top, so I found this piece, I think it was a great idea, what I'm going to do, this is something that you wrap around your hair, or you put like a, what do you go, like a headband, and it's really, really wide, and for one years old, because I heard this little girl is kind of a little petite, I'm going to actually put material inside. But um, I think she, this is, it kind of matched perfect with what she's going to be wearing. Or I'm going to try to find a red one. But if I dance, you know, she doesn't mind this color. 
so this is the piece I'm going to work and of course I'm going to add some little tools also on here like little bows and then for the head piece I'm going to also make um, same thing I like a match when I finish that I'll definitely going to take a picture to show you okay I'm going to cover you up again because I want to show you a little um, some save money and I think it's a fun um, embellishment to, to, to make okay here we go you gotta let the, let the camera focus first okay these are Soto's um, soda pop tops and I think they are great and I think because I have used them in the past especially for Christmas cards I was making I had a Santa Claus stamp and I used that as uh, the belt and it came out really really nice and um, the, when you pop these off from the soda cans there's like a little piece I'll show you right here because I have a whole bunch because that's what I, I actually I love working with these this is one of my embellishments and trust me you're going to drink them, then you're going to get, you know, you're going to throw them around. Hey, you recycle some stuff. You see this piece right here? Where your wire cutter is so easy. Just be careful. Wear a glove. Wear one of those um, eye protectors because, you know, you never know these things can pop when you, you know, when you cut them out. But I take my wire cutter and I just go around, do the tip, and just cut that off. Very simple, very easy. Um, so what I did with these, you can paint these with Sharpie. They work very, very beautiful. The only thing that does not work is the gold color Sharpie. I tried it, didn't work. So what I use is my golden leaf pen. Um, work beautiful. So these are the real big ones. Um, let me see if I can try to see it with the light. Now these little glitters that you see in them, they look like little rhinestones. Those are stickles. I use stickles on them, so they'd be great for any type of projects that you work. I'm going to use some of these um, for my cards. And what I do is I insert a ribbon inside here, coming from that hole, and going, coming out and going into the second hole right here. Then I sh you're going to have a long uh, ribbon on your right hand side. And then when you're coming out, of course, you're going to stretch it out and make sure you make, you know, you're going to wrap both ends. It comes out beautiful. And then when I do a project, I promise I'll show you. So it's just, you know, you have, you drink a lot of can of sodas or you know somebody. So I collect them. They're a lot of fun to do. And I can imagine with your guys' ideas, you probably come out with something else different. I'd love to see what you can do with these little can openers. As so, a matter of fact, I saw one girl did in YouTube a flower. Came out really, really nice. So I'm hoping that you enjoy my um, my um, little you know my little projects that I made, and hopefully I'll come back with a video of making something. Have a good one, ladies. Bye.